Go home, ducks. Go home, ducks. Hey goats. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne and Lori and this is Edge of Nowhere Farm. We're here today in January of 2023. It's our first vlog for the year, right? Yep. And we wanted to give you guys an update on what we've been up to here this winter because even though we took the winter off, we didn't quite take the winter off because there's no days off in farming. Well, no, yeah, we saw the animals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One of the things that we did right up front was we actually reduced our duck flock right? Yeah. We knew we had way too many ducks and it was getting out of hand for us. So we reduced that by half. We had some friends of the farm that took some mating pairs off of us, but now we've got most of them named. So we had Fred and Wilma that are the geese. Yeah. We had Thelma and Louise, which are two uh, Muscovies, Fem Muscovy females, females Muscovies, right? Yeah. So now we have Joker and what was his girlfriend's name? Quinn. Quinn. So we have Joker <laughs> and Quinn. Those are our two Welsh Harlequin, yep. right? So a mating pair there. Mm -hmm. And we have, is it Speckles? Speckles. Speckles. That is our runner, right? So we yep. kept a female runner. And we Sapphire. have Sapphire, which is our blue Swedish, yeah. right? And then we have our, what do we name our layers? Layers. Well, we... <laughs> <laughs> We have they some the that the, there's like um, spots on their bills, three of the four. So right. I wanted to name them Freckles. Yeah. But then it's all of them. Then so. it's all of them. So now it's like sisters or layers or whatever. I think layers is good. I think one of them is a boy. I know. Or he thinks, she thinks he is. <laughs> this is a very confusing time right now for that duck. Yeah. Obviously we have things around the farm that need protection in the winter. And one of those is Moringa. Yeah. So uh, one of the challenges that we have here in Arizona is we get down into freezing temps. In the wintertime, we've killed Moringa. Uh, we've actually done, done a video on killing a Moringa, which we did very well. <laughs> so we figured we better protect them. So what we did this time around is we kept the cages around each one of the trees. Then we took a six foot square piece of burlap. And after pruning the tree back, so we pruned it just below that three foot cage. And we put that around the cage. And then we used paper clips to hold that in. Now we've only gotten down to just the upper 20s. We tapped the 20s like 28, 29 degrees. So we haven't gotten down to 20 degrees. The nice part about this design is we could fill that with straw, those cages mm -hmm. with straw, or with leaf wood matter, chips, wood chips, sure. et cetera, yeah. if we needed some additional insulation, but so far I don't think we've needed it. No. At least we're gonna find out. Yeah, well I've looked at the trunks, they're still green right that's, now. <laughs> that's a good sign, that's what we wanted to see. Yeah. Another project we had was for the potted apple tree and it was starting mm. to struggle. We actually had a dead branch on that apple tree and we knew we needed to do some root pruning. It's been in that pot now for four or five years. And so we decided to go ahead and pull it out. Turns out we had some rot um, because the hole at the bottom wasn't draining, <laughs> which explains why we're getting some leaf uh, or some branches dying. So we went ahead and pulled that out. We went ahead and trimmed some of the roots back because we needed to do that. And then we repotted it after doing some pruning so that it's more vertical because it was yes. more wide. 
yeah. didn't have much of a trunk. Yeah. So we'll see. We don't know. We'll see. So far, it's still alive. We'll see whether or not we killed that really yeah. well. Well, we had a root actually grow through the hole in the bottom of the pot and block it. Right. So that that's the reason why it yeah. wasn't draining. And then, of course, we've been busy with finishing up our 2022 vintages. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> we bottled a lot of wine. And we still have a couple more to do, but we got all of our reds finished. All right. So this is our vintage 2022 Cabernet ground here in the Arizona desert. In fact, you had one of those tonight, didn't you? I did. I had some of the Zinfandel. Oh, yeah. So we had we, a little bit left that didn't get in the bottle. Right. So, and that is very good. It is good. And it's still got to be in a bottle for a year. Yeah. You think you'll be able to do that? Well, good thing I have some others that I can choose from. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got uh, the Cabernet, the Zinfandel, the Syrah, the Mulberry, and the Blackberry. Blackberry all bottled at this point yeah right it's like 140 bottles of wine something like that yeah yeah it's a lot what's great about that though is all red wines grown here in the arizona desert and yeah. three of those are true red wines with the cabernet the syrah and the zinfandel yeah that's pretty cool so one of the things that we talked about at the end of november when we did our last vlog is just having some issues as far as some struggles that we were having particularly me, but I think we both have. Um, you know, we've been going at this now since 2014, basically without a break. Yeah. So for the last, what is that, nine years, we've pretty much been going nonstop. And the last three years was truly nonstop. Uh, in YouTube, it takes a big portion of that time. And we took on just too much. You know, you're the only one here full time and we were acting like it was both of us. Yeah. So I know it took its toll on me. I just got done with a heart monitor this morning. So it's getting some heart palpitations, which when you're heading towards 50 is always a little scary. Um, so get results back on that. But um, I think I'm going to be pretty confident I'm going to be okay. I feel better. Yeah. So we'll see. But also lots of anxiety and stress, yeah. right? I mean, like not being able to sleep uh, just was a bit too much. So we're going to take it easier this year, right? We've decided that this year Austin's getting married in the fall. And we're going to take a little bit of a step back on some of the things that we would normally be doing here, which includes our time with you guys. So we want to make sure we keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on here. We'll do that as often as we can, but you may not see us quite as often as you're used to. So just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm in the Arizona desert and would love to see you on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below and our Amazon shop. I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. Mm -hmm. All right, it's bedtime. Okay, maybe not quite. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> gotta transfer it. Ooh, I kinda like that. You need to have <laughs> wine before these wear off. <laughs>